Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. All right. I feel that you and your partner, the person of your interest, is currently going through a lot of transitions in their lives. For some of you guys, uh, it could almost feel like they're disconnected or they're not as present or they're not really trying to communicate. For some of you guys, a separation could have been something that obviously could have to do with uh, the distancing or the pulling away type of energy. Um, now we do have here... What they're telling me here is that for some of you, this could be you, Aries, or this could be the person of your interest that is currently dealing with a lot of ham, uh, healing family issues. Uh, so it could be that uh, that could be the reason why they're not as vocal, they're not as communicative to you. It could be that they have a lot of things going on in their life right now, especially when it comes when it has to do with family issues or with children in their family. Um, and that really has them very distracted. That I feel that the retreat is not so much about the relationship itself. I feel that it's almost a feeling like the person is not as present because they're taking some time time off or some uh, time to pull away to deal with the family issues that are coming up right now. Um, I I almost see them like very surrounded around a lot of people or surrounded by children. Um, and again, it's almost the feeling like like they can't focus, they can't concentrate, so they really don't have the time, energy, or effort to put into relationships, and that could be why you feel like there's a strain in the relationship or like they're not as vocal, they're not as interested. So you're viewing it as this person is not interested anymore or they've, they've lost interest, but in reality, what Spirit is saying is no. You have to be patient, Aries, because... Even though your life could seem like everything is together, their life may feel like they're not in control of the situation right now. So that really presses the issue of them being more present in those issues that they need to resolve themselves. Now, I also do see separation here. So again, for some of you guys, it could have been um, miscommunication. It could have been that either the person really just can deal with relationships right now um or it could have been that you kind of felt like they weren't as interested or they they weren't as committed uh, to this connection what they're telling you here is take this time aries to love yourself first to put yourself first um this could speak about your self-respect uh self-respect makes you more romantically attractive uh, for some of you guys it could be that perhaps you're so used to once you're attaining a specific individual or uh, you get to have a specific person and we're talking about the physical aspect um, once you have them it's like you've kind of lost interest or you tend to lose interest and with this person I feel that it's not going to come that easy Aries <laughs> if you want me to be honest um, and it's not because they're not receptive to your energy. It has more to do with the issues that they're dealing with behind the scenes. So again, if you feel like you feel a little bit left out or you feel like they're really, they completely lost interest, what they're saying here is no. It's just that they need some time to pull away. They need some time to really work on themselves. And this is the time that you should find or, or really appreciate to start working on yourself as well Aries this is really going to help you now what they're telling you here is keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations I I'm going to be honest with you guys I, I feel like for some of you guys this is more like um it could be like a friend type of feeling where it, you already know who this person is obviously um for others of you that are single and you are interested in a specific person, it could, uh, the probabilities of them being like a, a friend or someone that uh, perhaps they don't know your true feelings for them, 
but they're very active in communicating with you this which is why it's leading me to believe like for some of you guys you may be dealing with like a friend type of energy but you are really interested in them um what they're saying here is with keep an open mind if this situation hasn't progressed the way you would have wanted aries as an example if you were interested in them but for some reason you couldn't let them know or they, you knew they were going through emotional emotional difficulties or there was a breakup uh, that they kind of had to get over an ex or something like that. And that could have been the reason why you didn't really fully express, but you did want to have them in your life. Because I, I feel that it's very tangled type of, and it, it, it's leading me back to that of like the feeling of a friendship type of energy. And if that's your situation, what they're telling you is don't, don't be turned off at the idea that it's too difficult or that it's been difficult or that it hasn't been easy or that you're still in the friend zone uh, because what they're saying here is your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations but I feel that for some of you guys like sex is something very important and it could be a person that you've known for a while but you've just never had them or there hasn't been any sex involved or you've had sex but you don't really know where you stand with this person but you are interested and they are interested but they have other things going on so again what i'm it, it's a bit of confusing here but what they're telling me is keep an open mind uh allow things to happen the way they're supposed to unfold uh, i feel that it has nothing to do with them not being interested or not wanting to be around you it has more to do with issues that they're currently dealing with now your two cards here is you have sextile and the ninth house wow these are the ex i think these were the exact cards that taurus got i'm not sure if you're interested in a taurus or you're dealing with the taurus aries but if you are i would encourage you to go watch the taurus reading it may resonate more with you but anyways um sextile opportunity this is to do with um the universe assisting you this is to do with synchronicities this is about provides opportunities um i feel like doors are opening up in regards to this connection or in regards to this relationship if you often find synchronicities like right now that they're dealing with family issues you yourself may be dealing with family issues and if it's that type of mirror effect i feel that those are synchronicities, synchronicities that the universe is trying to show you that you guys are connected on a spiritual level um, because you also have the ninth house and the ninth house is a very spiritual house and it speaks about uh, it, higher education, faith, beliefs, um, spiritual quest, aspirations. Uh, I, I see it almost like a they're telling me synchronicity so again pay attention to that if they communicate and they tell you like certain issues that they're dealing with and it happens to be that you yourself are dealing with that type of energy uh this is spirit telling you you know you guys have more things in common than you think or perhaps there is a reason for this and and you yourself are growing and they themselves are growing and it doesn't mean that it comes to a halt it just means that both of you guys need to work on self-love or issues that uh, become very prominent when it comes to relationships and spirit wants both of you to master those lessons to be able to come in perfect harmony and in perfect balance to be able to balance each other out okay i hope this gives you guys some type of insight and we'll see each other soon bye